Hey everyone, it's Mari Clark for Honey Bee Stamps. I'm going to be creating this landscape fold A2 size card that you see on the screen. I'm starting off with a piece of watercolor paper here and four colors of distress ink. I'm going to go ahead and put those distress inks uh, the, using the smaller cubes there that you can see on the screen into the wells of my waffle flower mat. I'm going to just activate those with a little bit of water using my distress spraying bottle. And I wanted to just pick up some of the pigment with my watercolor brush and add it to some uh, water on my watercolor paper here just by tapping that ink and that pigment onto the paper in that way. I'm going to use a couple of different methods to get my ink onto my watercolor paper here and you'll just see me working on that as I go along. So I started off with the wilted violet and now I'm adding some seedless preserves. I just wanted a really nice blend of pinks and purples for this Valentine card or love themed card or a friendship card, whatever you want to call it. Um, um, this card that I'm going to be creating today. So you can just see that I'm lifting up that watercolor paper. This is the Ranger Tim Holtz watercolor paper and I'm just lifting it up and letting that pigment flow on the paper there in that way. I'm going to tap a little bit of the picked raspberry in the center there and then I'm going to use my heat tool to dry that. I really love working on this waffle flower silicone mat when I'm going to be using uh, mixed media or a heating tool or any of those kinds of things that might even get just a little bit messy. <laughs> because it's super, super easy to clean up. So there you can just see that I also put some of my pigment right directly onto the area of the mat where I could pick it up directly to the paper. So this is the direct to paper method here that you can just see where I'm going to just go ahead and squash that paper down onto the ink and pick it up and let it just flow again. And I will dry this as I go along here as I keep adding and layering the color. And you'll just see that it creates this really, really cool distressed pigment on my paper. And I just love how this just, just looks really interesting, I think, for a background piece. Now I am going to be die cutting from this piece, so not all of this um, this uh, inked up image will, or inked up background, I should say, will end up being part of the piece that I'm going to use here today, but that's fine. I just had so much fun creating this and that's all part of the process, right? So I do really, really love using mixed media. And I was thinking about it the other day and I was thinking, I haven't done that many cards for Honeybee that have had much mixed media on them. So I just really enjoy this process. I think it's super relaxing and so much fun. And you can just see here, I'm just gonna continue this process over and over again doing the same kinds of things with the different colors those four different colors of ink until I'm satisfied with what I have and then I'll be ready to move on with the rest of the card I continue to try to use up as much of that ink that I have on my mat just by watering it down some more just adding some more of that distra distress spritzed water now I have the piece in my splat box. I wanted to add some white splatters to it just because I thought that would break up the um, the pink and the purple a little bit, but I also just thought it would just be really striking and a really nice contrast on top of these colors. And this is the Dina Wakely Gloss Spray. It's just a really cool medium that I really enjoy using and it's all dry now. And now I'm going to use this um, the uh, scallop heart dies from Honeybee. These, this is a nesting set so the hearts start off really really big and go all the way down to small and I just actually added this to my stash and I love it it's such a fun die set so yes this the nested scallop heart dies I will leave these linked in the description box below I also wanted to use this quilted cover plate this is an a2 size cover plate and I did go ahead and add that die cut that with some white cardstock and I'm going to and I have already cut that with a smaller heart so a smaller scallop heart I also created a card front from or using that quilted cover plate as well and I've layered that onto my pink card base using some uh, foam adhesive and now I'm going to start to layer up these scallop hearts so I've got my larger heart with, that has my beautiful mixed media on it and now I'm going to go ahead and cover some of that up and some of you might be saying oh, don't cover up that mixed media yeah, but that's just how it goes, right? So it's just going to poke out around the edges of that white heart. 
Now I'm also going to be using the Adore buzzword. This was another new um, die from the Love Letters release and it's so fun. It has actually three layers to it. I'm going to be using the top two layers. I've cut the finer Adore from some white cardstock and I'm going to layer that over top of some Gina K cardstock. And I'm just forgetting right now the name of this. I think it's called Wild, Wild Wisteria. I might have that wrong. I can't remember. Maybe it's the shaded, it's not shaded lilac. Anyways, it's a purple cardstock from Gina K and I will link it up down below so that you can find that. I love her cardstock. It is just such a great quality and her colors are beautiful. And I love how they coordinate so nicely with the distress inks that I used here. So you can see that I glued the, the, um, white layer onto the purple there like I mentioned I'm going to add a little bit of foam adhesive on the back of my phrase here so that it will lay um, in proportion to the dimension that is on the white scallop heart there and so I'll just put the foam adhesive on the kind of like the tail end of the word adore and then the a d and o will just lay nice and flat on top of those dimensional um, hearts and I will do the same technique there using that foam adhesive with the j and then the j up apostrophe will spell the word j'adore and then I'm also going to use a phrase in a little bit here from the adore stamp set as well. I'm going to use a glue dot on the apostrophe here and get that all adhered down. I do love my glue dots, I'm not going to lie. I think it's just a really, really great adhesive for small little areas like that apostrophe, and it is super, super strong adhesive, so it just is going to work nicely. So I'm just really loving how this is looking. It's just so soft and pretty. And now I'm ready to go on to the next step. Now I wanted to add a little bit of gold sparkle and shine, and so one of my favorite ways to do that on a project like this is using some Heidi Swap Color Shine. I love this mist, it's so pretty. And I'm just using a little paintbrush and in my splat box again, I'm going to add splatters of that gold. I think the gold just looks so pretty with the purples and the pinks and then of course the white. And it's just going to be a really beautiful, sh shiny, um, subtle uh, finish on there. So I just wanted to get a few bigger splatters on there as well. So I'm just gonna finish that off with a few larger splatters using my paintbrush. And this is the Adore stamp set. So of course this coordinates with the um, Adore buzzword. And I wanted to um, stamp out the word our French or the phrase our friendship. So I have treated my black cardstock with my anti-static powder tool. And I'm going to ink up my phrase here with my ink on three embossing ink. I'm going to use some white fine detail embossing powder here with my Nouveau spoon. Just going to get that on there and then I'll use my wow tool, my embossing gun to go ahead and melt that embossing powder and it just is so nice and crisp. I'm just going to take my um, cloth there and just wipe off all of that anti-static powder that's on there and now I'm ready to go ahead and adhere the sentiment underneath the word j'adore and that is j'adore our friendship I love our friendship and I love this card I think it's super pretty I'm going to use some of the love letters gems if you have never purchased any of the honeybee stamps gems I just want you to know that you're kind of missing out because <laughs> they are amazing and I love how they coordinate with all of their different collections and they are so easy to use. I am not making it look easy right now with my craft pick, but trust me, this is real time, But and they are really, really super easy to use. And they're very, very sticky. You don't need any extra adhesive on your gems. You can just go ahead and pick them up with your pick and put them on there and they're stuck, you're done. So no fiddling around. And I love those, they're gorgeous. So thank you so much for stopping by today. I hope you enjoyed my process. Please make sure that you check out the links in the description box below to the Honeybee Shop and all of the products that I use today. Have an amazing day, my friends. Stay safe out there, stay well, and come back and see us here on the channel another time. Have an amazing day, everyone. Bye-bye.